Hey everyone, Chrissy here, and today I'm going to show you how to make this card. We are teaming up with Joy Claire, and they have some fantastic stamp sets. So I was lucky enough to work with this stamp set, and it's called Heroes. And this set actually holds special meaning in my heart because my son is in the Army, and he is currently at basic training, finishing up his second round of basic. But I saw the stamp set, and immediately I knew it would be perfect for him because I don't really have very many military type things when I stamp. And not to mention, this is also a great card to use for anyone for um, any type of 4th of July or Memorial Day or any other type of holidays that would involve our independence or armed services or anything. So to start out, I stamped the main image using Versamark ink. And now I'm just covering it up with white embossing powder. So it's really, really hard to see um, even when I was working directly over it, I still really couldn't see what I was doing. <laughs> when I when I put the white embossing powder on, I was like, am I even getting in the right area? Because it's really hard to see when you just use the watermark. Um, but once it embossed, you can kind of see it there. It was a little bit easier to kind of see what I was doing. So I decided to watercolor the image loosely. Um, just using red and blue and then using the uh, white card base as like the white for the red, white, and blue. So just real quickly, real simply, I am just basically going and creating a resist. So by adding a little bit of water and watercoloring with these watercolor markers, you can see it's almost like magic. The image just suddenly shows up. So that embossed stamped image basically resists. Um, the the color so that's why it's called a resist so I'm just going in and I'm adding a couple different layers of the color so the first layer was a lot lighter and then I'm going to kind of go in add a little bit more um, you can just kind of watch my process here it's it's like I said it's not anything exact it's just real simple um, you could go ahead and you could watercolor in this image to or even colored and with markers or colored pencils to make it more perfect, but I just kind of wanted it to be real loose and flowy when I did this. I just kind of like the way that it looks and I feel like it really does kind of make the image pop out there. I'm just going in and kind of blending it um, with uh, the water brush. And then I added in a few little details using the marker. I just kind of wanted to darken in a few of the areas in both the red and the blue, and then I just kind of washed them out again um, with that water brush just to kind of blend it a little bit more. And then that was really it. So the next step was I wanted to kind of create something on the background, but I didn't want to make it so harsh or so obvious that um, basically it would take away from that main image. So I ended up using um, <clears throat> the stencil it's called Crackle, and it is one of the Thermal Web stencils. And I just lightly went over it with gray ink. I felt like gray might not be too dark. I didn't want to use black. Um, and I, you know, I didn't want to use red or blue, and I just kind of felt like this was a good kind of decision to make. So I just started darker in the corner, and then I let it, I put less pressure as I went down. And then you can see it's kind of dark up in the top right, and then just kind of fades away as it gets closer to the image. And now I wanted to also add a little something else. So I just grabbed those same colors again and I just flipped them onto the um, cardstock. So if you don't have a water brush, you can use a regular brush with water. I just like water brushes because it's convenient. They're right there. I don't have to worry about dipping it. I just wipe everything off with a paper towel as I go. You can see I'm doing that here. So um, I think it's really simple. And I can also take them on the go with me if I want to watercolor anywhere. So the next one that was 100% dry, I decided to add the sentiment and it just says thank you. I didn't want to do thank you for your service or I mean, there's so many options on that stamp set. Um, but I decided just to stick with thank you. And that way I could use it for really kind of anything. Um, I do have other family members that are um, in the service and also friends um, so I figured I could just kind of use it for anything. I didn't want to make it too specific to anyone. So I just stamped it a couple times. I'm just using a stamping tool only because um, initially when I stamped this, I used watercolor cardstock. 
So sometimes it's a bit harder to get that perfect impression when you're using the watercolor cardstock just because um, it's not smooth, you know, it's got those bumps in there. So I generally tend to use a stamping tool when I'm using that just so I can get a good impression. So next I decided to take my Decofoil adhesive pen and I just wanted to add in a few small little touches. So the stars and the flag and the helmets, I just gently added a little bit of that adhesive and then set it aside to dry. It has to be 100% dry. And then once it is, you can take any deco foil and press it on and it'll pull the foil off. So the foil is on your card. So I just used the silver deco foil. I thought the silver would look really pretty with the blue and red and all the splatters in the background. So now I just have um, some of the stars have the, the foil on it and then the helmets have the foil on it. Nice and simple. And then I just wanted to assemble the card. So I just used some 3D foam squares. I used a lot of them. I don't know why. I just felt like it needed to be nice and thick, um, probably because the, the watercolor card can buckle. So sometimes I do go a little bit overboard on my foam squares. Sometimes I use strips. Those are fantastic. And there's even the bigger foam squares too that you can use. I should probably just, you know, use the strips all the time when I'm using watercolor, but I grab these. Anyway, I digress. So I just assembled the card. You can see there's my giant head there. <laughs> I wanted to make sure I got it perfect. And then this is the final card. I also created another card using Joy Claire that is on the blog. Um, and it's completely different, but it's using the exact same technique. So you can see um, another card using the, the same technique. So thank you so much for stopping by today. And we will see you out on social media. Have a great day.